excuses that Bren Esports has. If someone just annoys the hell out of Carltizi, he loses he loses his cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I think it's mainly to punish I'm Journey in the reverse time to try and pull her back. She doesn't really have an escape mechanic afterwards when you have the reverse time on top of her. But sure that you guys will be able to banter on that we're already in the land of dawn game two and we got a lot to talk about that did you pick up five burpees goals what are you thinking uh, going back to what i was saying now maybe has uh the ages so this might be somewhat of a diggy feed threat but for the side of burmese schools it's not about control carl dizzy it's about control lusty no the thing is a control, uh, sorry, a feed Diggy strat doesn't have to be a feed Diggy strat if you're winning. Mm. Yes. If you're able to get those free kills, because Diggy does deal quite a bit of damage, you don't have to think about it like that. Yeah, how? What in the world happened to Rebo there? <laughs> Did Rebo, wait, hold on. I I'm wondering, I'm wondering whether or not he got, no, 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 there's no way. Even if you took smart missiles or ejector first, there's no way you'd be no, getting chunked out that low. He was dueling with a high and dry uh, fighter jawhead. But That's there's why. no way he would catch up to him almost ever unless he walked up too far, unless he got punished by Ruby DD, who's probably hiding in a brush. Yeah, yeah most likely. Because uh, I think in terms of items, the one one doesn't get the movement speed or the boots early on. Mm -hmm. While for the Jawhead, they get that. They, they go boots that, first. They go yeah. boots for yeah. the side lane. Yeah. And now, as you can, yep, as there you we can go. see it, mm -hmm. they, he got the boot now. He... The boot. I, I, probably, probably he just sold his item, and just got it. He knew that he needed it the mm -hmm. most. Uh, I suppose. I suppose. I suppose. But I think these are one of those situations where you don't want to like walk up a little too far, especially when you know there's a jaw head off lane. The moment you see high and dry, it's like if this is a dead giveaway. You shouldn't make me be mistaken like that. Oh, but view using that pure fight to get on out of there, and I think you know this game. It is slowly begun. Give it two more minutes, and it's gonna be a fiesta. Oh, turtle cam. Turtle is now up. Rebo here still having a hard time. Ace in the area. And Ruby DD. They positioned themselves to the turtle. I think they're going to start it up by um, looking at where Kid left his traps. Uh, there's got to be some in the bush at least entering this uh, greater turtle area. Right now, oh, that's going to be Carl TZ. And Flap TZ coming in. Oh, first blood drawn here by Carl TZ. Down goes maybe. But that's, I guess, what a Diggy does. Anyways, Carl TZ looking low! Oh. And D is finding these pickups oh. on Carl like it's nothing. And Farsa goes down as well. He gets it by the arrow. And man, oh man, Burmese schools are just controlling the early game. Mm -hmm. Yep, I mean, this game really is just snowballing in the way that Burmese schools wants to, but Rebo is going to have the time to sit on top of the top, uh, on the top lane and get a little bit of that gold, trying to slowly just maintain the gold lead, uh, keeping it even, don't want to lose too much out. Arms reach is it still right now about 200, 300 gold, three minutes in. Oh no, I wonder if Rebo knows. This is huge, Lusty gets caught in by the reverse time, catching a few bombs himself. Carl Tizi sitting at one and one with the mystery shop. Now, here you see how, yeah, despite how nice the draft is, regardless for both sides, you kind of feel that Brenny Sports, they know that they're on a clock every single time. Mm. They know that they can't go as slow as they did game number one. Mm. They couldn't really control the early game here for the side of Burmese schools, even if they had the Claude. When Brenny Esports used the Claude, they were controlled heavily by the side of Burmese schools. It just seems to me that they cannot return the favor. Yeah, I, I don't think they have enough items to start pushing their agenda just yet. They need a little bit more time for a lot of their uh, a lot of their heroes here. But I think you have to give it a flap TZ. After finding that first initial pick uh, onto Diggy, it's looking good. But now he's going to get jumped on, and uh, rotations are being made. Don't think it's going to be too too big of a deal here. I mean, even top side, you can see Burmese goals just the Burmese goals. The Burmese I mean, goals. That's the Burmese goals. Yeah, that, that's the thing. I, I was leaning more to the Burmese goals rather than Brent wanted to be jumping in it a little bit too early. But it's a matter of perspective, you know? It's a matter of perspective. <laughs> now, Bren here on towards the top side. As you can see, both having their insurance policies of Ace and as well uh, as Rebo to make sure that they can carry the team at the end of the day. But despite losing the first turtle, it's 10.8 10.8k. Mm -hmm. Very close. 
Bloodlust Axe is now up for D. Toughness Boots will be the boot of choice for that flood on Ace. Turtle Cam is now up, and as you can see, poor me schools, they're ready to take it. Oh, oh, the doctor almost went down. Oh, that was so scary again, it happened. Oh, that's gonna be a feathered airstrike. I think Ruby Didi's gonna bite it. Oh, that's gonna be called easy laying down the law. Close one, and still, still nice steal here by Ace. He's gonna go for the blazing duet. Oh, oh, no, that's flapped easy. Flapped easy makes him pay. Oh my goodness, that is going to be the fight that he wants. He tries to go for the counter initiate. Few on the other hand. Day he escapes. Carl Tease here trying to make the most out of this. Maybe, maybe he will go down. Maybe not. And maybe he will live. Oh my goodness. I don't know, but I've been noticing for the entire M2, how are people getting away with one HP more times than they should? I mean, I don't know if it's a... Uh, if it's a... Uh, somewhere on the map but right now oh delay damage on the flap easy okay i have an idea of how to explain it right remember how there's so many chases happening mm -hmm. in this game so far it's because burst burst seems to be the name of the game currently in mobile legends and second why are games so fast 13 minutes 14 minutes again because of the timers they're just so much shorter in the jungle and that's why heroes develop so much faster next why are people getting with one hp i'm guessing it's just mechanics man we are playing at the top of uh, the uh, competitive ladder. This is the upper, the highest echelon of MLBB competition. So, hey, if, if I'm better just this split second, then you don't get the kill. Honestly, I just feel a little unlucky. Like, <laughs> like Burmese Ghouls have landed all of their abilities and, and Few just makes it away with literally one HP. And the same has gone the opposite side as well. But wait, hold on. This might be something here. Oh, maybe get it caught out. But that is his answer to that Imperial Justice. Justice, it's going to be the reverse time. Now onto the top lane, we're seeing Carl here try to control the lane for a bit with a Farsa and 1-1 one -one is relegated to the bottom lane. They're just giving him space and he will be there and maybe he will go down. That is going to be Deadly Magic taking his life. Oh, this is what they've been waiting for for so long. And okay, now they've got a little bit of a kill lead, but that's not all as they want to push a little bit further, especially when it comes to these neutral objectives. Okay, so now they have control over the jungle. D is in the area. He can use the Black Dragon form. Lusty getting hit by the arrow. And look at this, Imperial Justice on Ace. Flap goes in and that Flapu Labu just goes in and tries to do as much damage as possible. But he gets kited. He takes maybe down, but he goes down in the process. That is a 3, 4, 1. I think the name of the game for Brenny Sports right now is to just minimize their losses and oh, Carl Dizzy gets caught out. I think for Brenny Sports, despite them locking in that third turtle of the game, they really just still want to invest in Doc Ribo. They still want to make sure this 1-1 one -one gets there. It's because they could have really called for 1-1. One -one. They could have said, hey, we're going to pick a fight here in Turtle. Please help out. But no, they just said, okay, you farm up. You make sure that we make it to the late game. And we'll just make sure that we win or just don't die as often. And now here's an Imperial Justice starting it off. And he goes for the Blazing Duet just in time before he got stunned. Stunned and Lusty. He's finding these Imperial Justices on the Claude, but in terms of follow-up, we don't see it. I mean, Lusty is just taking the opportunities as they come. Luckily, he's getting out without getting punished too, uh, too far, but like, you can see on the minimap that like, everybody, Rebo, Cartesi as well, even with the space escape, could not catch up to it. There was just too much distance to cover. Oh my goodness, and we are probably seeing Burmese goons. They are close to just getting this series win, but Bren Esports don't cut, uh, don't count them out. Rebo is still their insurance policy, and that this is going to be the weakness finder for Rebo. If I if I'm if I if I'm not mistaken, this would be the weakness finder, yeah. and this is going to hurt once we hit the late game. Yeah, and more importantly, it just allows him like, oh, I don't have a cross uh, cross cipher. That's fine. I can still run you down the moment it procs literally once or twice. 
It's not the most fun in the world, but as you can see, the game is slowly starting to progress in a way that Brent is actually quite happy about. All right, you're literally, what, one, uh, one point, uh, no, 2K ahead of me. No big deal, as long as it's a 2K margin, one fight, we can turn it around, get our power spike, and then look to fight you later on. Yep, and I don't think they even need to win fights. They just need to survive fights and just live to see Doc Rebo with that MD, all right? Like, this is exactly what it feels like to have a doctor in your family. It's going to take a while. The studies, oh, don't get me started. That's a decade plus plus. Plusmanship too. Yeah, exactly, right? But when you get there, oh, wow. You got a doctor in the family. It's all good. But right now, they have to hold strong, man. Because uh. the first floor taken in here by Burmese Ghouls, not even 10 minutes in. Again, imagine the pressure crashing down onto your base. If they're not smart about the defense, they're getting penetrated real soon. And they have a lot of long-range punish. See that? The time bomb, the reverse time, the abyssal trap, the abyssal arrow. There are a lot of things that Burmese Ghouls, uh, they can use the, these things as a way to punish Brent Esports. If Flap goes in, they can just turn on Flap and just punish him. But then again, if you're seeing this, few isn't really the target of the Black Dragon form in terms of D just using it. I mean, not anymore, especially when you have Kid on the watch and as well as Ruby DD, either or could look to try and pressure Few whenever he does start dropping that feather airstrike. So right now, Ben and Bren is just looking to fight at the right place at the right time. While Burmese Ghouls, they're just looking for picks, consistently sieging them under their turret. Kid, he's gonna jump in and out whenever he feels like it. And with Lore knocking at their door, what choice does Bren have? And look at this, Lusty almost getting hit by the arrow, and this is the push that Burmy Schools wants to go for, and the Blazing Duet just deals so much damage. Oh! Flap is forced to go away, and Flap goes down. That is going to be the D with this phenomenal usual play, and they get the turret onto the middle lane. Will the turret on the top lane go as well? And Brenny Sports did. They minimize the casualties, they minimize the losses, but for the side of Burmese schools, they're happy to take this slowly but surely just because they have the cloth in their hands. If anything, it's all about Brainy Sports making the best decisions, the least worst for them, right? Because already they are stuck between a rock and a hard place and what they need to do right now is just stop the bleeding. So far, mid getting penetrated here is definitely the worst that they can have, but at least what they can hold on for here is, again, Rebo is slowly building up. He has not died yet. And if you can bait out the ults from Burmese, maybe at least waste one Black Dragon form from D, then I guess you're on the way. We are sitting at 12 minutes. And yeah, we are. And yeah, and get, get yeah, here. Like this, oh, like this. Maybe, maybe we'll be the target and Flap trying to go in for Kid. Kid gets away. Abyssal Arrow gets thrown out. Rebo gets hit. But he has the ability to just cleanse himself from these disables. Mm -hmm. And right now, I mean, the clock for Brand Esports is six minutes. If, if they can't survive for the next six minutes from here on out, Burmese Ghoul should easily take this game because in six minutes' time, that's going to allow Brand Esports to hit at least the 52k mark. And then the gold doesn't matter. Everybody's at full items. And then you're just trying to execute better than your opponent. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, D there, oh. trying to go for Carl Easy. he has no winter truncheon, and that is going to be the punish. Better Grey Strike in the middle of everything, Flap Easy. trying to tank as much damage as possible, but there's going to be the time journey in the middle of everything, it protects people. Bren Esports falling one by one, Lusty is the next target, he dashes it back to base, Carl going in, he doesn't have the hat trick, and that is probably going to be it. Rebo trying his best. Oh, and Ace still here. Lusty tried to go for the stun, and they live to fight another day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they've oh, really no. rippled uh, Bren at this point in time. And what I thought was going to be six minutes might have just extended to seven at this point. And it's, uh, the clock is ticking, and I don't think they have that kind of time anymore. Three for three in that last clash. Of course, I think it's still good for the Burmese Ghouls. They did take top lane and they still maintain pressure on bottom. What I'm seeing here is the fact that I think the, all of Brenny Sports have agreed that we're not getting much mileage from Carl DZ, so you start building defense. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be surprised. None of us would be surprised if after with the truncheon, he built something towards the likes of uh, another defense item. Because I think 
they really are going to go all in onto Rebo. And that's essentially what's happening here. Once you're in four, Rebo just picked up his Queen's Wings. And so far, they did well to just bait out the Black Dragon form. They do that maybe one more time. And maybe in a more successful area, maybe even steal for the sword right now, then we might see that seven minutes pass by. I might I might want to see Bren Esports here fight as a team because the thing that they're doing, but who oh, that thought Ruby DD gets the oh. kill on view and that only oh. means Burmese schools here have free reign of the Lord. Bren Esports, they are forced back. Uh -oh. But D here, they he is going to cut Rebo and Lusty and Flap Easy will be their target. Two members from beside of Bren Esports go down. Lightning Truncheon goes to Kid. And if you're a Burmese school fan, yeah. you're really yeah. happy right now that this is happening. Yeah, this is just a huge win for Burmese schools. I mean, Lusty, he can't walk in. Cartesi can look to try and make something happen, but oh no, he got oh, he hit. Gets hit! He gets hit! Carl has a winter crunch on Lusty trying to bail them out, but Rebo here can only do so much. The Abyssal Trap will bite him in the end. He will go down. Few is up. They can probably defend this with the Pendant Airstrike. And D just trying oh. to make, they're trying to cap close oh. at the last possible moment. Crossbow of Tang. Kid goes down. D what? way to Tang. What? Rebo is trying his best to stay alive. Poor me. Schools take down Rebo. Flaptizi and Few is they are alive and they are ready to defend. But Will it be enough as Burmese schools also take the Luminous Lord? Slow golf clap for Doc Rebo. He lasted, what, 30, 45 seconds more than any other one one had business doing so. He popped the crossbow tang at the very right moment. And right now, that just bought ready for time to have another hero come in, respawn. So it's four defenders now going up against the Luminous Lord. And here comes D. And look at this. The Lord right now is just going in. Ace with a basic duet. It takes down a lot of people for the side of Bren Esports. Few trying to go for the Fairy Airstrike. It will take down the Lord, but does that even matter? As four Miss Goals head straight for the Crystal, and they just finish it. Wow, what a game! What a game! And it looks like the fans were right. The extra point six made all the difference for the Burmese Ghouls to take it away 2 0.